Hey guys, I'm Chris Irwin, president of Killcliffe, and you're watching The BAM Show. This is The BAM Show. Border and marketing, where we get you the real deal. I'm your host, Joshua Smith from Sherwood. I'm sorry to our viewers and, and our listeners for the delay. I've been on hiatus from the holidays, lots of family, a lot of food, but let's get past it. I just had to actually fat mics, which was unbelievable. Fat mats. I just had fat mats, which is a rib joint in Atlanta. Unbelievable. Let's forget about that. I need to introduce this lovely gentleman on the right of me here. Former Navy SEAL, current president of Kill Cliff. Welcome, Chris Irwin. What a pleasure. Thanks, man. How's everything? Good. Good. Yeah. Glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you for your service, by the way. Thank you. So, do me a favor. <clears throat> talk a little bit about. Let's go. Let's go with Killcliff first. Give us a mm -hmm. kind of the journey of. I think the company started in 2011. Mm -hmm. Sort of how it started and where you guys are today. Yeah, sure. Um, first off, for people who don't know. We yeah, know let's what say Kill what Cliff this is. Because right? okay, I'm sure there's people who are like, "What is that?" So we we make a clean recovery and hydration drink. Um, I think the best way. Mark, who is our VP of marketing, said this the other day, but think of it like a sports drink, and there's a lot of them out there, right? Without kind of all the crap in it, with some extra good stuff in it, and then we carbonated it. So it's like, it can be used post-workout, but also as a soda replacement. So nice. it's got a lot of good replacement values, right? Rather, that's one of those sports drinks that, that's out there, an energy drink. With literally 15 calories. 15 so calories, yep, yep. Awesome. Yep. So the idea was like, hey, instead of taking pills because my knees hurt or I'm sore after a workout or whatever, popping a bunch of ibuprofen. Yes. We try and make something that like refreshes me and has the same effect but uses natural ingredients to do so. That's so awesome. That's the idea. I feel like I have tendonitis in my elbows from trying to do one muscle over there. What makes this special? What makes this stand out opposed to other competitors out there? Really it's the cleanliness of the product, right? So any of those other ones, the long standing kind of sports drinks that you would think about, yeah. they're basically sugar water. I mean they're not good for you. Yeah. I mean, they've got electrolytes in them, but you look at the other stuff in them, like the second ingredient, right? My kids will get that at, uh, you know, at, after the basketball game or whatever, right? The oh, yeah. will hand it out, one of those, and yeah. look at the back, and that second ingredient in it is high fructose corn syrup. And you're like, why are we giving this to, to people? This is terrible for them, yeah. right? Um, <clears throat> so ours doesn't have any of that stuff in there, right? It's, it's a natural sweetener. It's stevia and erythritol, uh, which is a sugar alcohol, natural. Um, and then it's got the added other beneficial stuff in there, right? So it's got a vitamin blend in there, it's got an enzyme blend, and then it's got those natural extracts, ginger, ginseng, green tea. Um, so it's just a way cleaner, more beneficial product, right? I love how you do, so smooth about not saying the other company's names, even though we all know who they are. <laughs> Talk about, you know, obviously you were a former Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. Are there certain things that you've implemented in Kill Cliff's work environment that you've taken from your experience, you know, as being a SEAL? I mean, I think your, your leadership style and the way you do things, that if you're in the military for a long time, I, I think that automatically has Yeah, just transfers There's just ways you operate um, that transfer over that There's way. Someone, part, get, get that on the floor. Give part me part the of, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, no, that, that doesn't hopefully happen. doesn't happen. Okay. But, um, but in terms of integrating something into the business, I mean, the biggest thing is our partnership with the Navy SEAL Foundation. So when Todd created the company, the reason he created it, one of the reasons, was he wanted to figure out a way to be the largest contributor to the Navy SEAL Foundation. Like, so to give back to that community. Yes. Right? So um, don't want to beat our chests or anything about our time in that community, but want to have a way to give back to the people that are still in the community, the families, um, families of the fallen, all yes. of that, right? Very important. Um, <clears throat> so that was kind of the goal, right? Like, how do I get a bunch of money that I can give to them, right? Right. Because I don't have a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so I got to figure out a way to do that. So that was his intention. Um, and luckily, uh, I think it was two years ago at this point, I think it's two years ago, uh, we were able to do that. So we met with the foundation, we just, they were nice enough to let us be an official partner there um, and set up that arrangement. 
um, and that's that's our goal. So um, it allows us to tell people about that partnership. So and then we give money. We give money directly. We help raise money. We run fundraisers in various different ways. We do contests and sweepstakes and giveaways awesome and cars, things like so. that. Um, and hopefully people see it again. Like we we try to do. I'm very sensitive to trying to do it the right way and yes. doing it in a very respectful way. Again, that's not about being a seal or anything like that. It is about again making sure that that community is taken care of and yeah. that people um, respect the sacrifices that that community makes um, and, and hopefully are inspired by that uh, to, to help us give back to it. Um, and then I think for us, hopefully we come through as it being true to our ethos, so to speak, right? Like we are not, I say this, uh, I won't say the name of the company, but we're not we're a giant company that's out there just one day decides, you know what? Let's support the Navy SEAL Foundation. Right. And there's no direct tie. Yeah. Right? That's something that um, has a, an actual, um, is, you know, something real. For Absolutely. Us, right? and, and I think it's important, and, and people need to understand that it's not just that you support the SEALs and it's an after, it's like an afterthought. It's part of the culture. Right. It's a reason why, yep. you know, why the company was founded. And, uh, you know, it's, everyone looks up to you guys. And, really you know respect what you do especially for our country so I think it's tremendous so Chris since this industry again as we talked about is so competitive right what are you doing as a company to help build the brand yeah the overall strategy you know whether it's marketing implementation mm -hmm. whatever word of mouth what are you doing to help yeah to help that's grow? a great question and, and I agree right that is the challenge yeah right? it's like how sure. do you get your, your brand out there so the big thing that we're launching this year is actually this campaign. So kill the quit, which is should people should be able to read that. Behind nice. Us. Um, so that's our big campaign. Um, the idea is sort of fighting the inner voice in your head, right? That's telling you, yeah, hey, it's I too can't early, do it's too cold, yeah. I'm too tired. Like I worked out hard yesterday, or whatever it is. And it doesn't even need to be associated necessarily with fitness, even though we're a fitness yes. associated brand. It's just that attitude, right? So, um, so we're doing a lot to push that. Um, you mentioned our athletes yes. um, via those guys. We're using other influencers out there, um, social media influencers. Um, we've got a lot of like displays like this in the back that are going up in accounts um, and, and really trying to use as much of the digital landscape as we possibly can, right? I think a big thing is getting it out to people, right? Just people in general. And it doesn't need to be big name people. Yes. But people that have some form of influence over whatever group of people it is. And it doesn't even have to be a lot. Yeah. You know, a couple thousand, if they're a tight community, that's why we grew so fast in CrossFit. Yeah. Because each individual gym is such a tight community, right? That it's like, hey, if one, if like the coach or the gym owner is like, hey, this is a great thing, everyone's like, right on. Yes, I'm absolutely. I'm on board, right? So people that are passionate about uh, their followers and are good communicators with those followers, if you can get those people to understand your brand, understand your mission, uh, understand the campaign and, and think like, yeah, that's that's what I'm about. And I know some people that are out there killing it, right? That oh, I can yeah. kind of tell them about this. All right, time for a little word association. I love to do this with all my guests. Okay. I'll give you a word or a couple words. Just kind of just as quickly as you can. Okay. But I'm not going to, you know, if you're feeling a little sluggish, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Do my best. I'm, I'm almost I know. done with Take another kill clip. So it okay. should be very... You ready? Mm-hmm. Hydration. Benefits. Social media. Uh, tap influence. Filthy 50. Wall ball. Is there a wall Caffeine. Uh, milligrams. <laughs> it's all, it's like all stuff. Fine, it's good. Can. Hey, it's coming to your head. The internet. Uh, information. Bicep curls. Old school. Obstacles. Horse. All right, nice. That was good. Good. So I always bring my guests a little gift, but it's a little, a little different than that. It's a little tricky. It's a little twist to it. Okay. So what did I bring today? As we know, Chris was a Navy SEAL. So let's show the camera first, and then I can show it to Chris. Give it a, give it a little read. Give it a little <laughs> shout out. You got screened by because the Army needs heroes too. Yeah. That's right. The Navy <laughs> was created because Army needs heroes too. Now. I'd be glad to part with this, yeah. but you're gonna have to offer me something. Okay. 
Um, you tell me. You got an offer for Does me? it have to be something specific, like I have right here? No. Or, oh. Anything you want. Okay. Um, well, how about a kill to quit shirt? Does that work? Deal. A shirt. Fine. Shirt trade. Deal. Deal. Okay. I'm gonna let you have this. Okay. okay. Thank now, you. <laughs> the kill to quit shirt is awesome. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you know would even like it better than myself. Who? The audience. Yes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer a kill the quit shirt given by President of Killcliffe out to the audience, but I'm gonna need the best possible offer out there to get this Kill the Cliff shirt. You'll be able to hit me up on the links to the side, and you can email me your size and everything, but whoever gives me the best offer will get a, maybe he'll have Chris even sign it, which is very cool, because Chris is a very cool shirt. You don't want to No, you do, you shirt. want it. A signed so wait, what, shirt. So they have to offer you something That's right, in return? I'm offering them ah. the Kill well, why the Cliff. Why don't we, does it have to just be one? Why don't we give out like, like I mean, half a dozen of these things? Go something? ahead. You yeah. want a half a dozen? Let's do ten. Fine. Maybe I'll keep one. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. I'm gonna keep one and I'm gonna offer out nine out there. So I'm there gonna need go. nine offers. So that's the deal, guys. I mean, if you want it, you gotta get it. Get up in the morning. He said it. Chris, thanks so much. It's Thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming. And uh, to all of you out there, I hope you enjoyed this and be sure to tune in to the next episode of The Bam Show. Barter and marketing. We get you the real deal. <sighs> I'm up there. Getting up there. It's bad. <laughs>